The Corinthian Club is a beautiful venue for Christian McLeod's Spring Summer Collection 2015 and tonight it's all about the belt. Looking very dapper this evening Derek and of course wearing Christian McLeod. You're the brand ambassador, what do you love about the brand? Well, what is not to love about the brand? It's, uh, it's uh, fresh, it's um, stylish, it's quality, and that all for, uh, well, in my opinion, a reasonable price. So me and Christian was at an event on New Year's Eve about four years ago, and I saw his belt straight away. I went, dude, where did you get that belt from? And that's really nice. I went, it's mine. He went, I created them. I was like, they're really nice. Well, it's absolutely amazing. Congratulations on a Thank fantastic you. evening. Thank you. Let's start with the belts, of course. Why did you decide to do a unisex collection? A unisex, um, I feel that in the world of belts, it's a, it's a market that tends to be, um, I feel like it's quite weak. It, it tends to struggle. I feel like uh, on the market, there's plenty of uh, outfits or even brands that do sole shoe designs, even uh, watches, shirts, sole stores like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like I wanted to produce belts to really open up a market where belts were just as important as watches, shoes, along the lines. I am so happy to see you wearing Christian McLeod tonight. Of course, you can eat it up to the bed and not have a wee bit of something on. I know you're a huge fan of the brand. Tell us how you first heard about Christian. Well, it was actually just through friends in the industry. Like He's got a bit of a buzz about him because he is Scottish, living, working, totally doing it for Scotland, which is massive because everybody always disappears to London or LA or New York and I'm not a fashionista by any matter of means, but I do know that that's where the industries tend to go. So I really support the fact that he's here and he's doing it for Scotland. How important is a night like this for Scottish fashion? Oh, it's so important. It's so exciting to have uh, a young up-and-coming designer having a huge launch party like this. I mean, it's really like busting out the sort of big ass um, parties like you get in London or something. And so it's really making a statement and it's so important for Glasgow, I think, to be having um, events like this that just continue to make it the certainly the fashion capital of Scotland um, and uh, even more of a big player in the UK. The belts are of course unisex. What yeah. do you think about the colours, the bright pink and the white? Are you a fan? Well, I'm, I'm the biggest fan, I think. <laughs> I really like um, uh, his collection. I like the quality of the, the belts. And I like, of course, the, the colours. And you've got different kinds of ones. Like, you've got the, the, the big uh, belts. You've got also the small ones, the, the, the belts for around your waist. So it, it looks amazing with every kind of outfit. So it's good. Tell us about your inspiration for the colours. We've got white, yellow, Pink. Yeah, it's uh, went back in my golfing days. Uh, as you probably know, a pub golf. Pub golf kind of gives us golf it's a bad name to dress very, very wildly. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to put a few belts in there that showed my golfing background. Right. To, even the yellows, the greens, they're kind of out there greens. The greens are more mint, the yellows are more kind of mango. So it's, uh, the colours are quite bright in sections, but also keeping it quite earthy. And tell us about the link between golf and fashion. Um, I think it's kind of a new phenomenon to be honest. I think in the last sort of maybe 20 years, everyone looks at good in the golf course, especially now with the commercial interest and being on camera all the time. Um, it's become a big part of golf, you see the different colours and I think it brings out character in a lot of people as well. We spoke to some golfers tonight, there seems to be a real connection between fashion and golf. Yeah, yeah. Which one might not think of, but t tell us about it from your point of view. I think uh, growing up as a young professional golfer, it was always a fashion sport for me and uh, I felt that the bridge between golf course, golf course clothes and off the golf course clothes, there was never anything that you could wear for both. Yeah. Especially a belt. So a golf and belt you can never wear on the high street or for a night out. So I felt like I wanted to design something for both. And golf wear was getting very sporty. And I felt like I wanted to bring more fashion into it. So I thought I'd take the jump. Now I have to ask, does the CM on your belt stand for Craig McGinley or Christian McLeod? Unfortunately not, it's Christian McLeod. No, but he's, he's done so well. I know Christian really well now and he's, he's been fantastic. Um, I've done a few shoots with, with Christian now as well. And he's worked so so hard. You know, I think he started this brand when he was 16 years old as far as I'm aware and uh, so I'm pretty sure I was just uh, playing rugby still at school and not thinking about starting my own brand so he's done fantastically well uh, in this event tonight I'm sure it's exceeded all expectations as well and it's, it's fantastic, really proud of him. Where do you see the brand going in the future? 
Um, I would say the goal is for the next five years is to get into more department stores, uh, open shops, inside shops, be the only luxury sole belt department store in the world and make it more out of sport. Uh, fitting area, so when you come in, you get fitted for your belt. And I really want to make it as important as if somebody was going on a night out, they want a different pair of shoes, a different shirt. I want the new way to be is right. I need a new belt also on that outfit. So. It's been a spectacular evening. The bloggers, journalists, and fashionistas are happy, and the name on everyone's lips is Christian McLeod.